So hi everybody and hi Amin, this video is for you. So um, I'm doing this video of the on the new 8.4 mod, so the beta version. So there's some small differences, but I will try to for things to remain as it looked like on the 8.3. And I invite you uh, to see my previous video on the new 8.4 uh, feature. So let's start uh, by creating a plane and and not create material bank and I will add a surface renderer which is uh, the better renderer so if you are on the not a better renderer but for the purpose we have here it will be more convenient for me uh, so if you on mod uh, 8.3 you while creating a plane plane you will have this automatically this setup so now in my plane I will put my surface renderer here uh, with a 100% auto illumination and I'm going to use an example image uh, so you can use of course any image you want and use that here as a diffuse so alt drag and drop uh, to replace the map by uh, the image and what I'm going to do now is uh, from this plane here to emit a lot of particles and uh, make them have the same look uh, than the image so in order to do that i will uh, use an operator the emit particle operator and so now i'm emitting a ton of particles and the first things i uh, first thing i'm going to do is uh, reduce a little bit uh, my sprite point size and emit a lot more of particles so we see what we are going to do so let's add like 10,000 particles per second all right and now I want to colorize my particles with the same um, with the same uh, colors of my image my uh, texture image in order to do that I will add an attribute colorize layer and inside this colorize layer, I will change the map uh, that I will use to colorize my particles and use the same map I used inside uh, the surface renderer, uh, which means this uh, eye, this image. And in order to do that, as I want my image to be exactly the same uh, on my particle colorization and uh, the one I'm displaying on the plane, I will do a share element, so right click share element. And so right now I have my reference here, uh, my image, and I will use uh, this image as a map for the particle. So now what you see is that it doesn't work very well. My particles are all green. That's because I'm right now coloring uh, with my colorized layer, uh, my particle, which means that each one of my points here is now colorized with some kind of uh, with some kind of um, medium of all my image because what I want to do is not colorize the particle uh, after they are emitted but when the particle are emitted I want them uh, to inherit uh, from the color of the plane they are emitted from so now you see some little kind of bug because my particle behind are displayed in front uh, so I'm some kind of strange thing going on here. That's because on my point render, uh, on my particle, I must activate the test uh, and write dev buffer and the dev sorted. So um, be aware that this is um, quite heavy uh, for smart to calculate. So you have to maintain that a little bit. Uh, be careful with it. So now what you can experience uh, with the 2D sprite is a little issue. It's because my sprites are right now 2D image in a 3D space. And when I put a lot and lot and lot and lot of 2D sprite, I can have some kind of Z-fight. And in order to fix this issue, instead of using uh, sprite point uh, renderers, I will use the ball points renderer. This one are quite heavy, but uh, they are kind of 3d sprites uh, so no more z fight and I will just reduce the radius and put uh, my ball point uh, auto diminution at 100% and now I will have no more z fight problems <coughs> now the issue here you see that I did not really recognize my image I can see that's more or less uh, I'm inheriting from my 
image here, but uh, it's not quite beautiful. Uh, so what I want to do here, uh, because nah, why is my image not uh, very recognizable? It's because in my emit particles right now, I have a direction with a spread of 10 degrees and I will reduce that to zero. And right now my particle will be emitted all in the same direction and now I can recognize more my image. And I will add some more particles like let's like say 30,000. All right, let's re-emit my particle again. Let's reduce a little bit the ballpoint and let's add some particles right 4000 all right and now i recognize uh, my image but now i'm colorizing my particles but uh, because of the colorize layer modifier i'm also colorizing uh, my surface uh, renderer so what I can do if I want to colorize only my ballpoint is create a group on my ballpoint uh, renderer, Control Shift G, and uh, put my uh, two modifiers, uh, my emit particles and colorize layers, inside this group. And now when I reactivate my emit particles, well my particles are right now colorized, but uh, but my surface renderer is unaffected because. Right now, my colorized layer modifier affects only my ballpoint uh, renderer. So um, now I'm on the small 8.4 version. So in the 8.3, you have to create a group to put a modifier, a chain of modifier um, on only one renderer. Uh, but on this version, you can actually put that directly into uh, the renderer. So this is for the 8.4 version. It still doesn't work in the 8.3. So Let's uh, leave it as it is on the 8.3 version. So let's animate some of these parameters into my uh, timeline. So first my emission parameters. So let's say that between zero and two seconds, I'm shifting from emitting zero particles to 4,000 uh, particles per second. And let's augment a little bit uh, the life durations, um, like 20 seconds. And now I will start by emitting particles with no speed. All right. So zero. So start emitting particles with no speed. And after a few seconds, it will actually accelerate up to, uh, let's say, 0 0.2. All right. And now what I want to do is uh, when I have my complete system like that. What I want to do is uh, to reproduce entirely the effect uh, you showed me uh, is to add some noise. So I will add a position noise. Position noise like that. All right. OK, let's put the position noise after emitting the particles. All right. And let's reduce a little bit the strength of the position noise and the scale. All right. Now what I want to do also is that my noise, my position noise, has an effect only when the particles already lived a little bit. So what I want to do is uh, when the plane is emitting particles, I don't want this kind of perturbation at the beginning of the life of my particles. So what I'm going to do now is use a mask over the position noise, uh, function mask, like that. In this function mask, I will use uh, not a texture coordinate, but the age of the particles. And now into the function, I will uh, change from parametric to custom and say no modification on the beginning and a lot of uh, modification after a little bit while like that. All right. Now what I'm, what I have now with this function mask is when my particle is first created, <coughs> there's no position noise. Uh, my position noise is not affecting um, 
my particles. Uh, and then after like 10% of their life, uh, it will be progressively affecting my particle uh, completely. So now let's uh, start um, the, the timeline uh, again. All right, and if I want it all these particles to disappear when I erase it, uh, my timeline, what I can also do is add, um, <coughs> sorry, is add the activation at the beginning here. All right, let's say on the first frames. Okay, and let's see if that works. All right, of course, if it doesn't, so let's select this the opposite so i'm uh, quite lame to parameters this kind of thing so for the activation state you take two activation points and switch the value and at some point uh, that will work so my first point here is the activation and then when i come to um, like 0 0.5 frame I'm activating my particle system. So use the use of that is only uh, when you're already far into your timeline. If you reset your timeline, then you deactivate all your particles. All right. So now let's play uh, the timeline. So now I'm emitting particles that progressively will accelerate. And as they gain some age, they will start to distort. So of course, this will need a lot of fine tuning and there's a lot of way of different way of doing that effect. But here you have um, come on, a first uh, canva to start uh, your composition. And of course, if any one of you wants this uh, composition, then I can send it to them. Alright, so that's all for today and have a nice uh, rest of your day.